All right, we're in the home stretch now. So right now, we're actually going to do the remove command, which will remove the last song added to the queue. So under the add command, we're going to say, copy this and paste it underneath, just so that we have our command. We're gonna change from search to remove, and our alias will be rm, and we can delete sr. And we're gonna go down here, we're gonna say async, def, remove, and we're gonna pass in self and ctx. And this is gonna be a pretty simple command. So first off, we're going to say that the ID equals the to int ctx.guild.id. And this, again, is just our server ID that we're passing into all of the dictionaries. So next, we're going to say if self.musicq at ID uh, does not equal an empty array. So basically, if there is a music queue. We're going to say song equals self dot music Q at negative one or sorry at ID and then negative one and zero. So this is taking the music queue. We're going to the ID. So the music queue in this server, and then we're taking the negative one index uh, for the actual song. So that will return the last index in the queue, uh, in the array. Basically, if you do an array to the negative one index, it'll go to the last thing. And then we're taking zero, which is the actual song itself rather than the voice channel. Then we're going to say remove song embed equals, and we are going to do a new uh, embed thing up here later. So first we're just going to say song removed and we're going to await ctx.send remove song embed. So then outside of this if statement, we're going to say else await ctx.send. There are no songs to be removed in the queue. So outside of this, we're going to say self.music queue at the ID equals self.music queue at the ID and then a colon and negative one. And this is basically saying we're going to set this to everything except for the last value. So we're taking the last song out of the music queue. Then we're going to say if self dot music queue at oops queue at ID equals an empty array. So once we remove the song, if it's no longer if there are no longer any songs, we are going to clear the queue and stop playing. So we're going to say if self dot VC at ID does not equal none and self dot is playing at ID, then we are going to say self dot is playing at ID equals self dot is paused at ID equals false. And we're going to say self dot BC at ID dot stop. Then outside of this if statement, we're also going to say self dot Q index at ID equals zero. So basically, if the queue is empty after we remove the song, then we're just going to stop the music from playing. Then we are also going to say elif self dot Q index at ID equals the length of self dot music queue at ID and self dot VC at ID does not equal none and self dot VC at ID. So what we're saying is if the Q index equals the length of the music queue. So if we're at the end of the music queue and if we have a VC and if it doesn't equal none, then that's what we're going to do. We're going to say self dot VC 
at id dot whoops pause self dot q index at id min minus equals one and then we're going to await self dot play music and ctx so what we're going to do if we're at the end of the queue once we remove the song is we're going to pause it we're going to set the music queue to the last song so the last song of the queue and then we're going to play the music so we're just going to skip back a song so if we're listening to song two and we remove it and this is the last song in the queue then we're just going to go back to song one and play that and that is our remove command so now if we save music cog and we go to main.py and go here and then if we open up discord i can say if i'm in here if i say play hello world and then i can say remove and it says song removed um but there's no way to really see what the queue is right now so we're actually going to make an embed which i talked about earlier so we're going to go back to music cog we're going to go up here to our previous embeds so the now playing and the added song and we're just going to copy and paste right here um whoops this should be right here so we're going to copy and paste and then in this embed we're going to say uh removed song embed and we're still passing in self ctx and song and then we're gonna keep all of these variables with title link thumbnail and author and avatar and then for this embed we're going to change the title to song removed from q and we're going to keep the title and the link right here and we're going to keep self.embed red right here and then we are also going to say song removed by and the author and the avatar and this is our entire removed song embed so if we go back down here to remove and instead of saying song removed we can say self dot remove song embed and pass in ctx and song then we should have our embed once we say embed equals remove song embed so now we can save music cog we can cancel this previous thing and run it again and if i go in here and say play non copy right bubber adds to the music queue and then if i say remove then it removes the song and everything stops playing then what if i say add non copyright and add hello world and i say play oh and i forgot one last thing we're gonna say self dot vc at id equal equals none hey everyone so sorry about this but right at the very end of this video obs decided to not want to record anymore so I lost the footage of me fixing this error and testing it out. This right here is how you solve it. You use disconnect instead of stop to stop the music of the VC, which will disconnect Gerald instead of just stopping the music. And that is going to help with the error we had in the play command. So here's the code that you need to change and that should work for you. Hopefully this helps, and sorry about the inconvenience at the very end of this video. See you in the next tutorial where we'll be learning some Q functions though.